Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a very quick screen share on how I use Posture VA. I have had a few subscribers ask me which settings do I use? And you know, if you're not a techie type person, it can seem a little daunting, but I promise you as someone who, I do not like technology. I am not great with all of these different apps and such. However, this extension is probably the easiest one I've ever used. It was one button to download. And I just kind of hope this video helps somebody out there and they do not know I'm making this video. They didn't ask me to do it. I'm doing this on my own free will. So just wanted to get that out of the way. All right, let's show my screen. And it is the morning time, hence why you're really not seeing my face today. But um, when I get up in the morning, this is my process. So literally like I just woke up, I'm gonna show you. All right, once you download Posture VA, you're gonna have, well, I'm using an Apple, it might look a little different for you. This little puzzle piece up here is your extensions. I of course have List Perfectly also, but Posture VA is always open. You know, an extension is just always there, but it does hide itself if you know, you know, you're clicking through your screens. All right. So this is your very first tab up here. I'm just going to kind of go through each of them quickly and show you what I do. All right. So this is my share screen. I have it scheduled to share my computer, share my computer. It is scheduled to share seven times on my computer, even when I'm not home. Now I will tell you, if you close your computer, if you set it to sleep, it won't work. So you've got to have your computer awake for the scheduling to take place. So I have mine scheduled. It kind of did it out of order, but starting at 8 a.m., it's going to do 8 a.m., 10 a.m., noon, almost every two hours. Then I jump to three o'clock, seven o'clock, nine o'clock, and 11 o'clock. Those are the times I share my closet. Of course, every now and then I just might walk by and push the share button, but that's what's scheduled to happen. Now, I do have 800, about 800 listings and that's what I'm comfortable sharing. You know, I've read you can share 6,000 shares a day, 8,000. I just kind of don't push it. All right, so I have mine set on fast speed, sharing from my closet. You can share from a current page. Now, I wish I had this extension before I became an ambassador. Oh my gosh, the hours I could have saved. You could literally just be on the news feed and share from the current page and get to your however many shares it was that you needed within a couple of hours. It does take about, I don't know, 12 minutes, I would say, 12 to 15 minutes to share my entire closet. All right, this, I only share available items. I never really touch this stuff. I'll leave zero to share all, shares my available items. It starts from the bottom to the top. It does go ahead and share items to parties. I have had several host picks, which I personally don't think do anything, but I've had things chosen and just because Posture VA was running, so that was nice. All right, so this just happened this morning and you can see this is five minutes ago. Uh, I guess I can tell you how long it took. So it started at 7.57, prepared all my items to share and it finished at 8.25. So I guess it takes about 25 minutes, a little bit longer than I thought. So right now, if I wanted to, if I just happened to walk by my computer and or like last night, I did close my computer because it was dying and so it didn't share at 11. I just opened it and I, you can walk over to it and just click start and it's gonna start the process. I'm gonna stop it because I wanna show you some more things. So that's it, that's how this function works. Now, there's a great debate, you know, does following people do anything? Well, I don't know, but I do know if I'm not having any sales and I want some activity, I do follow people. Now, um, I never touched this. Uh, it says for safety, they don't recommend doing more than 6,000 followers a day. I just, I left it at that. Um, now, if you're trying to really boost your numbers, you wanna do this a thousand at a time, it says follow from page. I'm gonna show you quickly how to do that. Now down here, like at any given time, this is what I do. I follow a hundred people at a time from the fresh closet. I think that means it's people that have just been active recently. So, that added it down here to my queue. And you can see um, my friend Kathy over at Ginger Marvin. She's who I uh, have been using. This is the example I will show you actually. Um, to follow, see, this is what I do. Okay. So if you want to really boost your numbers, leave this at a thousand. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go up here over to Poshmark. I'm going to change it to people. Put someone's name in any shop you can think of. Okay. 
gonna find her. I'm gonna go to her shop. Now you have to click on follow, like who are their followers? You have to do it that second step and you have to actually click that button. I'm gonna open it back up, go back to my follow tab and click add. And it will say task to follow people was added. So it's running right now. Well, it, that one's queued. My 100 fresh causes is running, but this will happen next, okay? So that's just gonna keep doing itself. Now, over here to actions. This right here, you guys, is what I think uh, really has changed the game for me. This was a newer update they did under actions, the relist, delist option. I'll get back to the offer watcher in a minute, but every morning when I wake up, I sit down and I say, relist, delist items. This is kind of like how we used to do the manual copy, recopy listing, but that doesn't actually push your item as if it's a brand new item. This, here's what I do every single day. I open this up. You can see my, set, my settings are kind of saved. I do items that are older than 60 days and I relist 20 items every single morning. Now, some days I don't have that many. Yesterday, I had 22 items older than 60 days. And you can see it went through and copied them. Now, if you have an active offer out on one, it will skip it. So I literally just open up this tab after I do my first share of the day, I make my coffee, I sit down and I push start. And it's gonna confirm 60 days. Like you can do, you can change some of these things. Do you wanna change the price? I don't. One of my main things is already running, sharing, um, but you can cancel that. So to cancel the current task, I'm just gonna say, okay. So that's gonna run. This does take a little bit to populate, especially the more items that you have, because it's looking through all of my items and seeing what I have that's over 60 days. So I do that every morning. Now, here's what most people wanna know, this offer watcher. I personally, I watch a lot of other fellow YouTubers. Everyone does it a little bit differently. I send my offer 10 minutes after it is liked, and I send 15% off with the 595 offer and I do exclude items listed in the last 24 hours. Now, that doesn't mean if you just posted an item and someone likes it, you can send an offer the old school way, which I have done that, but I have also gotten a lot of full price sales on items that are newly listed. So, you know, you play around with it. Maybe you do the 499 shipping, maybe you do your offers after 5 minutes, maybe you offer only 10%. So you can change this, you just hit edit. You can go in there and change anything that you want. You can disable it. Like I know I have disabled it for maybe two days. So I can then go in and send like 30% off my whole closet if I'm gonna run a sale. And I don't like to send a 30% off offer like an hour after I sent 15, you know? So that's, that's how that works, so simple. And it's gonna be running all the time. Now, don't ask me why, I told you, not very techy, but this feature does run even when it says my closet couldn't be shared because my computer was asleep or I had it totally, closed overnight this offer watcher will run all night long so i don't know what dif what's different about that but i see that i'm sending out offers at two in the morning it's fantastic all right these are some other options you can send bulk offers now here's what i like about this um uh i don't use this as often i do like this new little feature that poshmark itself has come out with you know with a little wrench and you can go through and click but here's the cool thing you can do subset from page, which is what I do. So let's say over in my closet, I wanna send offers on just my kids' items. I can do that. And then I can change it to, you know, only things that are under $25. So if you wanna just kind of clear some stuff out, then you can go back. It does close out every time. And I can, it's on subset from page. I can, I can send 40% off, 30%. So it's not sending it to your entire closet. You've got to make sure you have it set on this from page and not all. Or this is also how you can send a bulk offer to everything on your closet, okay? So that's not one I do all the time, but it is great. I, I definitely use that to clear out some of my winter items. You know, I selected women's and coats or men's and coats. All right, you can bulk price update your items. I am not someone that uses this feature, but you maybe you drop everything 10% for closet clean out. You can go back in and increase it back afterwards, which that's really cool. This activity returner, again, this is something I've used a few times if I'm just trying to get some activity going in my closet. Um, you can share, uh, return shares, return follows, 
I typically only return the shares and I might only return one per closet because I don't want to waste all my shares. And, you know, I don't really spend a lot of time sharing other people's things, especially once you hit that ambassador, but then people do come back and share your closet. And I don't know, I think activity of any type is going to help bring you sales, not necessarily the people sharing are going to buy it. I don't know. So that's what activity returner means. Relist, delist. I told you that's my main thing every day. Here we go. Actually, it, it fetched it for me while I was talking. It says I have 24 items older and it's going, it's doing its thing. Copy and pasting my old items. It's only on number five. It does go pretty slow. So that's running. All right. Over here on options, um, you can, you can uh, change your, how many shares per day, uh, you know, I, I don't touch any of this stuff. Oh, it resets daily at midnight. You can change it to 24 hours. And the stats over here, this is pretty cool. This is showing me today since, since midnight, I have done 857 shares. This is how many people I have followed, how many offers I've sent. And, and it tells you there's a limit of hundred relistings a day, limit of following 5,000. So this is what's going on today. So that's kind of the, the rundown of it. Uh, I just absolutely love it. Hopefully that the visual helps you. And if you would like to sign up for it, guys, you get a 14 day free trial. I mean, that's a long time. I let it, even though I knew I was going to pay for it. I let that whole 14 days run. You can only, the only thing with the trial is you can only relist hundred items total. So I just divided it 14 by hundred and that's how many I did per day. You literally just go to posturva.com. And up here, you start the free trial. You don't even have to put a credit card in. And I already have it. So, you know, wants me to log in. But if you use my code, I'm going to paste it right here. Oh, not that. It's this. Pruitt Mama. Uh, that's going to get you a discount. It's 20% off. And I believe it's 20. Yes. I suggest doing the six months because you can either get 20% off of your very, it's your very first payment. So you can either do one month or I got the discount off of an entire six months, which obviously was a lot more money. So um, if, if you do that, I do get a little kickback. So no secrets there, but then you get your own code you can share with people and definitely do the 14 day, you know, um, to make sure that you click that you have a discount code when you do your free trial, because it's going to remember that when your 14 days is up. So you need to make sure you do that first, but guys, I'm telling you this, this, this extension has changed the game for me. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions about it, please do leave them in the comments. I'm happy to do this again. And yeah, I'm wishing you many, many sales and I'm going to go enjoy my coffee while this is finished running and I've got kiddos in open and I'm going to start using list perfectly. And that's where I push my items from. So, all right, guys, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one.